two quotes. That's delicious, he said. I like you, Beav. Beaver. <laughs> Lena. Javi, it's okay. You can have it, buddy. Nobody's going to take it away from you here, Javi. He wants it so bad, but he just, he never was given cookies before he came here, and he just... There you go. Good job, Javi. Oh, he tried so hard that time. Listen, giving Javi cookies is a job. It's like he wants it so bad, but he's so afraid to take it. Come here, Javi. Look how slick Javi is getting. Come here, Javi. Come here, Javi. Javi. Come here, Javier. It's okay, Javi. You can have it. You just... There. Oh, he got it. And you should see his face. He feels like he really got away with something. Oh, Javier. You want one? Or Goose Man. Goose, your flying lead changes and your mustache are all fantastic. Did you guys notice that Goose Man has a mustache also? Here, Goose. Huh, Goose? Did you tell him you were doing flying lead changes today? Come here, pretty girl. Good job, Mama. You're such a big, beautiful girl. You're such a big, beautiful girl. My phone died. It's okay. It happens. Say, I'm extra big. I deserve two cookies with my spotted skin. I love pretty girl. No, you've all had a cookie. That's enough. One cookie. One cookie for y'all is enough. Look at the buckets of feed. Need to sweep. I will tell you guys that we have Vitality Plus. We have pretty much everything. But our favorite thing is this. This is what we... But I walked in earlier, Tylen was putting this in the feed also. It's one of our favorite things. So don't forget to order your Hoof RX. And you guys don't forget, um, I'll share the website for these saddles. The Diamond Ranch Saddle Company. This saddle right here is for sale. So if anybody is looking, um, I r generally ride in a barrel saddle like a 14. But in a ranch type saddle, this fits me well. It fits Tylen well. It's a 15. I believe in 15 and a half. I've got all the specs for it. So this saddle will be for sale. We will get it listed. Um, so that in case anybody is interested. And as you can see, it's got such a good ground seat. It is a weighed saddle. These are removable if you decide you don't want bucking rolls. Um, some people love them, some people don't, but I like them. It gives you a lot more thigh room in a saddle to not have a big cannel, but they're there in case you, um, you know, in case you do want them. It's got very nice forward slung stirrups. It comes with the back cinch, and we'll get it on the website just in case anybody is interested in it. Not because we don't love it, but because that's what it's here for, and we have several more that, um, that we... They're just different, the same maker, just different types of saddles, but no, these mats actually are super light and they roll up. 
so they roll up on the back side and it's got a handle um i mean i can like with just my like just one finger like lift them so no they're actually super super lightweight they're extremely durable um you can go to um ah performance just tell her i sent you the mats are super i think this one's like three something like 379 for one of these anyway it's got a it's got a handle like you can roll it up and it's got a little like velcro strap you put on it and it turns into a backpack and somebody asked me earlier that if they bought this saddle would i sell them this saddle pad to go with it because it really is a great color scheme absolutely so if you buy the saddle and you want the saddle pad i'd be happy to throw it all together because it's beautiful together but if you ride anywhere from about a 14 to a 15 and a half this saddle will fit really good especially if you're going to trail ride it's super balanced it's got a great ground seat i wish everybody lived local so you could come try it um this saddle right here i believe is going to run around 2000 and that's for a brand new custom everything but i need to make sure so that i'm not out of there these are great if you go anywhere because at the end of the day let me explain, like if you even work a dog show or if you work trade shows, you need them because see, they just roll up. And anyway, they roll up a lot smaller than this. And then it's got a little handle that goes around it that's Velcro. It's actually right there on the ground. And um, anyway, you can spray them off. You can sweep them off. The leopard is permanent, so it's not like individual pieces that come apart. But anyway super lightweight you can put the strap on it and then you can just walk in and out of places with it on your back like a backpack so that it's not super uncomfortable to carry and it would be great for it i mean they're very like i'm sure you guys can see like like they are smushy with your like have a ton of bounce to them so if you're doing a dog grooming area i would buy a leopard one and i know for a small fee she can customize it where it can say your name, this is actually the brand of the mat, the AH Performance. So I will, actually I'm fixing to, I have a page on the website going up that says Tara's Favorites. I haven't had time to finish it yet, but the link to these mats will be on there. The link to CEP will be on there. The link to the PEMF Complete Machine will be on there. And the link to the saddles, the saddle pads, all of that will be on the website so that you guys know right where to go. But Anyway, there was a little confusion today. So in the beginning of the video today, Tylen rode two crows, got off of two crows, and got two crows' brother out. And when he started lunging him, there's some ladies on there discussing how two crows is, what, neurologic and crippled, and that I was paying too much attention to my dogs to avoid um, showing his unsoundness. And what I want for you guys to know is it's really important to not make a comment because... You didn't lunge two crows today. You just stepped on him. I mean, and I guess I my biggest point is, is if we were going to hide stuff, we definitely wouldn't show ding dong here bucking. Like we would, we could not go live and we could do video clips and really just piece them together and not do live. And it, it could make everybody look just super broken, super amazing. And that's what we try to avoid. We want for you guys to know everything about them but two crows is here his brother came in his brother was recently trimmed his feet are just a little bit short um other than that though that horse rode i thought that horse rode really good and he doesn't seem crippled or neurologic to me i mean we've only ridden him twice so i mean he's not i mean i can't guarantee anything he's only been here two days what i think people fail to realize is when you're teaching a horse something new they're not going to know how to do it. So you have to teach them. That's oh, when the they were saying he couldn't cross over in the front end. Yeah. 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 It's hard for a horse. Like, so this horse is really actually green. I know he's a coming six-year-old where that horse is coming five. But before two crows got here, he had about five or maybe, maybe 10 rides. And then I think Dylan maybe rode him, a, you know, a handful of times at best. And you've ridden him what? A, Seems like a lot. But I was, I was riding two or three times a week. A week, and you've been here not even a month. Yeah. So if you've rode him three times a week for three weeks, that's nine times. 
So we're yeah, talking about a horse that's had 30 rides in his entire life. Well, this is my third week. Yeah. So. It'll be, you're going on your fourth week. Yeah. yeah. Your payday was yesterday. That was your third, third paycheck. So we're going on week four. So all I'm saying is, is that the part I think of the internet that makes me not want to share my life is that part of it. The part where people have an opinion who... Like, it's already hard enough because Two Crows is a horse I bought back. I mean, he brought enough that I should have sold him. I should have not. I shouldn't have brought, bought that horse back. But I did. I did. And I brought him home. And I thought that with 90 days training, um, he could really be a phenomenal horse. Yeah, he's getting better. I mean... He's getting better. He just stays a little fresh. Like, I know that he's a big horse. I I think, though, like, the worst thing that happened is when he bucked Dylan off. Like, I think he kind of learned. And then Dylan really didn't want to get back on him. And then when he did, he just kind of got back on him and got right back off of him. You know what I mean? He was wanting off. And I think that that's the worst thing sometimes that can happen. And some of us have sticky buns and don't fall off so easy. Yeah. And that's the whole thing when that's what started the fight earlier. He did not understand that I was just trying to get him to cross the speed over and he got upset. Yeah, but he's and, never like he's never been asked to cross over or come around. And this horse right here hasn't either. So now where we are is that horse is five years old and he's I mean, collectively maybe had 30 to 35 rides in his life. Like, people can't expect for a horse to know what they don't know. And you can't expect a horse to be solid in 35 rides. You just can't. And this horse has not had much more. He's probably had 60 days. But that horse right there, I didn't, I mean. But anytime you teach a horse something new, even if it's as small as side passing, mm -hmm. if they trip. Mm-hmm. Make you think yep. stuff that's not true. Yeah, I'm not. So stuff like that doesn't bother me. I think that there's just too many people that that get online and they're just looking. Like, I'm, I mean, if I sat in the arena and picked every horse apart, I would find something wrong with all of them every time. Like, I mean, you can pick them apart to death. But at some point, you just have to, um, what you just really have to do is realize that, like, these horses aren't even listed for sale yet because I feel like we don't have a proper assessment.